Hello friends and welcome back to another virtual story time with Miss Liz. Today we're reading a book about being yourself and what to do when others might not accept the way that you choose to express yourself. Today's book is the Proudest Blue, a story of hijab and family. It's written by an Olympic medalist, Ibtihaj Muhammad, with S.K. Ali, and the pictures are by Hatem Ali. This is a story about two sisters on the first day of school. Let's see what's gonna happen. Looks like we have a family on their way to a store that sells hijabs. Hijabs are a head covering that many people of the Muslim faith wear. The Proudest Blue by Ibtihaj Muhammad and S.K. Ali, art by Hatem Ali. And it's published by Little Brown and Company. Here's that family, they're inside the store. Mama holds out the pink. Mama loves pink, but Asaya shakes her head, and I know why. Behind the counter is the brightest blue, the color of the ocean. If you squint your eyes and pretend that there's no line between the water and the sky. Looks like Mama likes pink, but Asaya likes this bright blue. It's the first day hijab. Asaya knows it. I know it. We are sisters. The next day, I wait. A new backpack, new light up shoes. I feel special. I feel like twirling. Asaya comes out of the house and I stop. It's the most beautiful first day of school ever. So you see, the younger sister is not wearing a hijab, but her older sister, it's time for her to start wearing that head covering to school. I'm walking with a princess, so I pretend that I'm one too. But even princesses have to stop to cross the street. Asaya takes my hand in hers and says, come on, Faiza. We speed walk it. 14 steps, 14 light ups to get across the street. I think that's good sisters. They're helping each other be safe. Asaya takes me to my line first and hugs me goodbye. I turn to watch her leave, give a little curtsy to the princess going to the sixth grade area. She's easy to see. Her hijab smiles at me the whole way. My first day hijab is going to be blue too. She's thinking about one day in her future. What's that on your sister's head? The girl in front of me whispers. A scarf, I whisper back. I don't know why a whisper came out. I try again, louder now. A scarf, hijab. Oh, she whispers. Looks like some people who aren't familiar have questions about the hijab. Asaya's hijab isn't a whisper. Asaya's hijab is like the sky on a sunny day. The sky isn't a whisper. It's always there, special and regular. The first day of wearing a hijab is important, Mama had said. It means being strong. I love this picture of Faiza's older sister, Asaya, wearing her hijab and it melting into the colors of a nice blue sky. I turn, but I can't see the blue anymore. I run to the big kid's side, 27 steps to see Asaya. I need to give her another hug. I need to see her smile. Faiza? Asaya's eyes wonder why I'm here. Are you excited, I ask, about the first day of hijab? She nods, smiling big, and I feel better. Someone laughs from nearby, a boy pointing at Asaya. Why? Looks like 
this person over here is laughing and Asaya and her friends think that that is not very nice. Asaya's hijab is not a laugh. Asaya's hijab is like the ocean waving to the sky. It's always there, strong and friendly. Some people don't understand your hijab, Mama had said. But if you understand who you are, one day they will too. Looks like their mama was giving some good advice about how it takes people some time to accept things that they don't understand. In class, I drew a picture. Two princesses in hijab having a picnic on an island where the ocean meets the sky. The girl who whispered in line says she likes it. She says it's so loud, the teacher comes over to see it. And I wonder if Asaya drew a picture too. Recess time is for five cartwheels in a row. I land the last one near the sixth graders, near Asaya and her friends. Near, a boy was yelling, I'm gonna pull that tablecloth off your head. Hmm, that is not a very nice thing to say. Asaya's hijab isn't a tablecloth. Asaya's hijab is blue, only blue. Asaya turns away. Her friends turn away. They race to the middle of the schoolyard, their shoes pounding the pavement, playing tag. Mama says, don't carry around the hurtful words that others say. Drop them. They are not yours to keep. They belong only to those who said them. I think that's a good piece of advice. Sometimes it's hard to listen to other people say unkind things and not to hold them inside of you. But it's important to remember that what other people say is their business and it doesn't have to affect you and the way that you feel about yourself. It takes me 48 steps to get away from that yelling boy. I'm proud of Faiza and Asaya for just leaving, not staying around and trying to confront this person who clearly is not ready to understand and be nice. After school, I look around. I look for whispers and laughs and shouts, but I only see Asaya waiting for me like it's a regular day. She's smiling and strong. There she is and there are her friends. We cross the road hand in hand. I can't wait to get home to show Mama the picture I drew, to show Asaya that I'm wearing the same hijab in it. Because Asaya's hijab is like the ocean and the sky, no line between them, saying hello with a loud wave, saying, I'll always be here like sisters, like me and Asaya. And that, my friends, is the end of the story. And if you look in the pictures here, you can see that the author wrote the story about her two sisters. This is the author. This is Ibtihaj Muhammad. And then this is Ibtihaj's sisters. This is Asaya and this is Faiza. So this story was based on real people that were very special to the author. And at the end, in the author's notes, she writes a little story about her experience with a hijab when she was growing up. So I encourage you all to get your hands on this book so you can read more about her story. But for now, my friends, it is the end. I hope you enjoyed reading with me today, The Proudest Blue. I thought it was a wonderful story about being yourself. Thanks for tuning in yet again. I will see you all tomorrow for more great books. Thanks for watching.